Hi, it's Tiffany here from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you uh, for this new blanket I've designed for Yarnspirations. And it's using this wonderful, beautiful red heart yarn called Hookah. The colors I've used for this blanket is this one's called Pearl and then I've used this pretty pink color called Powder and this other color called rust. Now to start your blanket, what you'll need to do, and we're just gonna do a practice swatch together. The pattern repeat is 10 plus six plus three for your turning chain. So you can make this blanket any size you'd like by multiplying any number times 10 and then adding six and then adding three for your turning chain. So I have 29 chains here. And what you'll do is starting with this pearl color, the cream color, is that you will double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So we don't count this one. Start here with one, two, three, four. Start with the fourth. Just a regular double crochet. So if you've never made a double crochet, let me show you. I just yarned over. I insert my hook into underneath that top loop. I grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn one more time, and pull through the last two loops on the hook. All right, we're going to do this for a total of six double crochets. Now we are counting those chains that we skipped over at the first of the row as a stitch, as a double crochet stitch. So that will give us seven double crochets. Six of them, you know, the real ones that we worked. And this one is going to count as one. So we'll count this chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna to switch to single crochet in the next three chains. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Let's do that again. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Now let's go back and work seven double crochets. So basically that will be, it's a series of seven and then three. And you'll see how we get those little circles of color though, uh, after we've worked two rows of this in the pearl. And it's okay to work just underneath that top loop of the chain. That's perfectly fine. One, two, three, four, five. I've worked five. Here's number six. And I'm hoping you can see this okay. Here's number seven. Now we'll work the next three all single crochet and really the only difference between single crochet and double crochet is you don't start the stitch by yarning over just directly insert your hook and then pull through two so I'm just inserting my hook under that top chain yarning over pulling up a loop yarning and pulling through two just three times here we go, the final seven. Let's work these all double crochet. Getting towards the end of that row.
I'm going to show you how to turn. Let's double check that I did my count in my chain correctly. Kind of didn't forget. Do we have seven here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Now we will chain three and turn. Just like a page in the book, turn your work towards you. Now, just like we started at the first, these first three chains will count as they stack up over these this double crochet stitch of the row below. They're going to count as a stitch. So you'll yarn over and we won't work into this first space. We'll work into the next space. And we will stack our double crochets on top of the double crochets from the row below. So we'll just have six of them here because that turning chain. All right, so we'll just have six double crochets here on these first, just because that turning chain does count as our first stitch. Just always need to remember that going forward so that you don't accidentally add stitches onto the sides of your blanket. Okay. Now, when we get to those single crochets, I'm pretty sure you guessed it, we're going to single crochet right into the tops of them. So we're kind of starting to get this little wave going. Single crochet for the next three stitches. Okay, why don't you finish the rest of the row and I'll meet you back at the end and I'll show you how to add in our first color. All right, here's just one more thing I want you to be aware of too, is that at the end, make sure you get that seventh double crochet worked. It goes into the top of the turning chain. And that sometimes is a really tricky little chain space to find, but just do your best to find it. Poke it on in there any way you can. Don't worry about it. Pull through, just work through the first two loops and stop right there. Now we're going to take our rust color. Oh, this beautiful, it's more like a rose color, if you ask me. Um, a dusty rose, maybe. It's beautiful. Just go ahead, lay it over your hook, and pull it through. Now on this row, we're going to reverse our stitches that we've been doing. So we're just going to chain one and turn and now instead of working double crochets into the double crochet we will work single crochets that's how we'll get this little line of color going and then i'm sure you guessed it we're going to work double crochets down into those single crochets okay so i'm just working across the tops and um if you noticed my single crochet, I went ahead and went right into that first um, space. That chain one is simply there to help you turn. That chain one does not count as a stitch, like our turning chains of chain threes did. Okay, I'm yarning over and working double crochet into the tops of those single crochet. It's such a fun little pattern to kind of I think I think sometimes patterns like this help a beginner with really paying attention to counting um, and learning what stitches look like instead of just having you know a whole row of all the same stitch at least you know that the last seven need to be either single crochet or double crochet and then that helps you to keep the sides of your blanket straight because then you're not adding a stitch or missing a stitch. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get to the end of my row here. I'll chain one and turn and I will just repeat what I just did. I'll work single crochets into the tops of single crochets and work those double crochets. How about I meet you back at the end of that second row and I'm gonna show you how to carry this pearl color 
up the side. Okay, look at how I'm just taking my time. I have to find the top of that turning chain. All right, I think you've got this. Chain one, and why don't you work that fourth row there. So I didn't have you cut this pearl color off, and the reason why is because we're gonna just at least carry this color up the side. You will probably want to cut off this huga. I am gonna leave it up to you though, but because the next color change We'll have two rows of this and then we're going to add the powder. So if you want to carry it, you'd be carrying it up quite a bit. And I don't know if that would show underneath your border. So I'm going to let you decide that. But um, look at that. So this is, you know, the yarn I just left behind and I just simply pull it up. I kind of like massage it a little bit, make sure it's not pulling too tight. Just kind of fix the tension and adjust it and then I'll start with my chain threes and turn. Now I'm back to remembering that this is my first stitch so now I actually just need to make six more double crochets. Alright you'll do two rows of this exactly like how we started the first two rows and then you'll pull through with the powder and you'll just keep alternating those colors. And that is basically the stitch. I think you've got it probably from here. Make sure you weave in all those ends before you start the border. And the border is very simple, all single crochet, which you will be a pro at by the end, by the time this blank gets done of switching back and forth. So let me grab that blanket for you one more time and let you see it. See how these little circles and then I think you'll really get a good idea um, of what it will be. Not beautiful. It is just so fuzzy and warm. I uh, I just can't say enough good things about how fun it was to work with this yarn. One other thing I loved about it is if I did make a mistake, it easily came out. And there's a lot of, sometimes yarns will, will stick on each other and it'll be really hard to pull apart, but it was just fine. And another thing that I loved was that it's easy to see where to insert your hook. So anyway, here's just four rows of single crochet. I think one more thing I'll do for you because I get asked this a lot. And that is exactly how to weave in the ends. So I actually didn't finish this blanket all the way. I just finished my fourth round. I slip stitch and, you know, cut the yarn free. And so I'd like to show you what it means when we talk about weaving in the ends. This is a, a really blunt tapestry darning needle. I've heard it called lots of things. It has a very large eye. And I'm just going to thread my yarn through it. And all I'm going to do is just work my needle in and out of the stitches. Now with this yarn, I probably don't even need to do very, too many stitches. I'll get it out here away just because this yarn um, has all these amazing fuzzy fibers. It's not going to go anywhere. They're not going to pull out, but I like to just secure the ends just to make sure. Do a couple passes back and forth and just disguise the end there. Kind of work it in and out. So you will be doing this if you choose. I, You know what, guys? I think I'm just going to suggest that you have. I cut the ends and you just have to weave them in. <laughs> but that's okay. It goes really fast. You know, put on a movie and get those ends woven in because the colors of this, you know, working with color, don't be afraid of it. It just makes your blanket so beautiful. Then I just clip it pretty close. Now I'm done. I'm sending this blanket off to your inspirations this afternoon. So I'm very excited to have this pattern on their website and come and find me if you would like to. Um, daisyfarmcrafts.com. We're on Instagram and Facebook, and we just sure have loved being sponsored by Yarnspirations in 2019. 
They have a lot of beautiful yarns to use and we've used them quite a bit. So you have a good day. Actually, before I go, hi there. I'll show my face and just wanted to show you this beautiful, kind of get a sense of really what it looks like. Um, hold it up. So anyway, okay, that's it. You have a nice day. Mm -hmm.